Hello friends, today we're making this delicious creme brulee macarons. They are filled with a French vanilla buttercream and a pastry cream in the middle. And the top of the shells is caramelized to make it taste just like creme brulee. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I post new videos every week. Let's begin by sifting together the powdered sugar and almond flour and then set it aside. Next, whisk the sugar and the egg white powder in a bowl and place it over a pan with barely simmering water. The egg white powder is completely optional. If you don't wanna use it or if you can't find it, just leave it out. I just like to use it. It's a great way to improve your shells and the quality of your meringue. Then add the egg whites to the sugar and whisk over the double boiler until the sugar is completely melted. It should only take one to two minutes. You can test by touching the mixture, and if you don't feel any sugar granules between your fingers, remove it from the heat. Transfer the syrup to the bowl of a mixer. Start whisking on low and then gradually increase the speed to medium and then to medium high. I like to finish whipping my meringue on medium high for a few minutes until stiff peaks are formed. The peaks should be stiff and shooting straight up. Now I'm transferring the meringue to this bowl so I can show you the macaronage a little better. Pour the sifted powder sugar and almond flour into the stiff meringue. And I'm also going to add some vanilla bean to give a little bit more of a vanilla taste to the shells. This is also optional, you don't have to do it, but if you have some vanilla bean laying around, this will give the shells a really nice fragrance. Also, if you want to use any food coloring, this is the time to add it. I'm going to keep my shells white. Continue to fold the batter until you achieve the perfect consistency, which I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like. The batter should be flowing slowly and effortlessly off the spatula and you should be able to draw several figure eights with the batter that's flowing off the spatula without having it break up. And then even after the batter breaks up, it should still flow slowly off the spatula. Transfer the batter to a piping bag fitted with a round tip. Then place the piping bag directly 90 degrees over the center of each macaron template. Apply gentle pressure and carefully pipe for about 3 seconds and then quickly pull the bag up, twisting slightly. Once you've piped all your circles, bang the trays against the counter to release any air bubbles. And then also use a toothpick to pop any remaining air bubbles from the surface of the macarons. Then let the tray sit so the batter will dry. You will know the shells are ready to be baked when you can touch the surface of a macaron and it doesn't stick to your finger. Then bake the macarons on the preheated oven. I baked them at 325. You're gonna have to experiment with your own oven to find out what's the best temperature for you. And I also bake my macarons for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now we're going to make the vanilla bean pastry cream. Add the milk to a small saucepan and place it over medium heat. And then scrape the seeds of a vanilla bean into the milk. Stir the milk and the vanilla bean seeds together until the milk almost comes to a boil. As soon as you see the first bubbles emerging, turn the heat off and remove the milk from the heat. And now we're going to whisk the egg yolk, the sugar and cornstarch in a bowl until the mixture is very light and then color and runny. It should be flowing off the whisk like this. 
And now we're going to temper the egg yolks. Add a couple of tablespoons of the hot milk to the egg yolks while whisking non-stop. And then add a little bit more milk to the egg yolks and keep doing this until all the milk has been added. Pour the whole yolk and milk mixture back in the pot where you heated the milk through a fine mesh sieve to catch any bits of eggs that might have cooked. Then use a spatula or a wooden spoon to stir the custard over medium-low heat. It is important to keep the heat low and also important to not stop stirring at any point. The mixture is going to start to look lumpy and then it's going to get really thick and smooth as you continue to stir. Transfer the custard to a bowl and cover with plastic wrap directly on the surface of the cream, so this way it won't form a skin. Place it in the fridge until completely cooled down. Now we're going to make the French buttercream. Place a bowl over a pan with barely simmering water. Then add sugar and egg yolks to the bowl. Whisk the sugar and the yolks over the double boiler for a few minutes until the mixture reaches 155 Fahrenheit. Once you reach the temperature, remove the bowl from the heat and begin to whip with an electric mixer. It should take about 7 to 8 minutes to whip this until it cools down. I really recommend using a hand mixer instead of a stand mixer to do this because the whisk in the stand mixer won't be able to reach the bottom of the bowl and it won't be able to whip the egg yolks and the sugar properly. Once this mixture has cooled down completely, begin to add the butter one tablespoon at a time and scraping the bowl as you go and as needed. The mixture should come together and form a creamy and smooth yellowish thick buttercream. If your mixture is not coming together and it's not forming a thick buttercream, Here's a trick you can do. Insert the bowl in the fridge for about 10 minutes and then begin to whip again. Add the vanilla and continue to whip. To assemble the macarons, we're going to pipe a ring of French buttercream around the edges of the bottom macaron shells. And then pipe or spoon some of the custard in the middle of the buttercream. And top with another shell. Chill the macarons in the fridge for a couple of hours before bruleeing the top, which is going to help the frosting not start to melt, because the shells are going to get a little bit hot as they get torched. To make the brulee top, brush a tiny, tiny amount of water on top of a macaron. A little bit of water is going to go a long way here. Then sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top of the shell and use a torch to caramelize the sugar.
Let the macarons sit in the fridge overnight before serving. I hope you enjoyed today's video. For full recipe and instructions, go to my blog. I'm gonna put the link down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.